Well, that's uh, what he has to do tonight as he uh, gets prepared to take on an Arizona Diamondback offense that has been sporadic at best this year. There's going to be some immediate pressure on Senza, though. And we talk about the opponent batting average against. You've got to deal with, obviously, Rojas at the top of the lineup. He has a career batting average against Senza at 385. He does have a homer against him. There's some big numbers in there. Paven Smith, 364. Marshall, 571. Christian Walker, 476. So Senza's going to have to navigate, and fastball command is going to be paramount. Rojas slams one toward the right field corner, and a good start for the Diamondbacks. It bounces off the wall, a stand-up double for Josh, and that's about as good a start as he could ask for. It's barrel and drives it down into that right field corner for Connor Joe. Great start to the game for the D-backs. Alex punches one the other way, and that one drops fair. It's in the corner. Rojas jogs on in. Back-to-back -back doubles open this one up as it rolls away from Bryant, and Thomas is in at third. Goes down and golfs that slider the opposite way. I'm surprised it stayed fair. A lot of slice on that ball, but it does land in fair territory. Rolls all the way down into the corner, and Alec really turned on the afterburners. And Walker hitting exactly 200 on the year, but he does have 19 homers driven in 39. Christian hits it up the middle into center. That gets Thomas home, and it's 2-0 Diamondbacks. A terrific start here. RBI number 40 for Walker. Clean, solid single back up the middle of the field. Took what Senzatella gave him and puts another run on the board. Six and five in 15 starts this year. It's just the fourth career start for Merrill in this ballpark. Yeah, we mentioned his start against the Rockies earlier this year. Went eight and two-thirds. That was when Torrey was trying to give him that complete game, and he just couldn't quite get that last out, but gave up only one run on seven hits. Punch out eight Rockies in that game. And this is toward the middle of the diamond and on through. Another base hit for Connor Joe. He's looking for a moment at a double. The only time Blackman has ever homered on his birthday was his first career home run back in July of 2011. Double play ball if they can turn it. Buddy Kennedy, Perdomo, and they roll it. Now the pitch. That one hit in the air towards right, slicing towards the line. Varsho camped underneath it, and he'll make the catch. And the inning comes to a close. The Rockies get two hits. They strand one, but don't score. And after one, it's Arizona two, Colorado nothing. Carson Kelly, the results for Carson at the plate recently getting more and more encouraging. Carson has it in three of his last four, doubled twice and homered in that stretch. Pretty solid contact out to deep center field. Carson Kelly yeah. sends one out of here. That's number two for Carson, and it's 3-0 Diamondbacks. The bat has shown some signs of life over the last week. He's looked better and better every day. That's all it takes in this ballpark. Solid contact to any part of the ballpark. You can hit it out here at Coors that time. A fastball up over the middle of the plate. And Carson does barrel it to straightaway center field. This is not good news, though. And so Ty Block has to uh, come in for Antonio Sensatella. Perfect world. He can eat up some innings here, keep the Rockies uh, in this ball game as they look to get after Merrill Kelly offensively. One two pitch yeah, straight three call that one caught the inside corner and Marte is not happy with that call. This is oh what a play by Iglesias. Give him five knocks for that. <laughs> Never trust a Sicilian when but death, death is, is on the line. line. <laughs> what a great play by Jose Iglesias. This is one of those plays that I imagine Jose has practiced at least a thousand times. Ready is tie block and here comes that two two pitch. And that one's popped up. Foul ground. Catcher Diaz near the third base dugout will handle that one. And Ty Block comes in with a 1-2-3 third inning against Arizona. C.J. Crone flying to right field first time up. 1-0 to C.J. is lined towards left center field. This is going to be down and a chance for two. C.J. digging hard. Throw comes in. Slide. He's in there. C.J. with the two base hit is 17th of the year. First extra base hit of the night for the Rockies as they try and cut into this three-run deficit. And it's grounded to third. Rojas backing up on it, has it cleanly. And a good throw to first in time. Crone hangs tight at second. A little tapper for Merrill, going to take it himself. And Strands, that one out double. Four zeros on the board for Merrill, the mainstay. Base hit for Iglesias. Leadoff man aboard for Randall Gritchick. The 0-2 is hit right back to Merrill Kelly. And the throw goes off the glove of the second baseman, Buddy Kennedy. And on to third goes Iglesias. That was going to be a double play, and Buddy Kennedy forgot 
to put the ball away. Long pause. The pitch is hit up the middle. Perdomo stumbles, flips it to second for one, and on to first. They get the double play. The run scores. Christian Walker starts the sixth against Ty Block. Ty Block with a 2-0 pitch, and it's pulled hard on one hop. Grabbed by the third baseman, McMahon. Fires to first in time for the out. Great play by Iglesias last time with Walker up there, and one maybe just as good with McMahon at third. So one out. Here is Peralta, 0 for 2. Peralta hits one deep to right field, and you can kiss that one goodbye. David Peralta, that's his 10th, and it's 4-1 to one Diamondbacks. Lifetime 337 hitter at Coors Field. That's his seventh ever home run in this ballpark, the most by any current Diamondback. He'll put three defenders on the third base side of the infield against Carson Rogers, the second baseman, just over on the shortstop side and back of the grass. This is another play for McMahon. He's going to need help, and he's got it. How pretty was that? He took a double from Carson Kelly. Have a night, Ryan McMahon with the leather. Off that right foot, makes that good, strong throw. So Stevenson has to get Thomas here, keep it a three-run game. Thomas, an RBI triple in the first, ground out, line out. Punches this one toward the left field corner. That ball is carrying, and there it goes! Alec Thomas the other way, snuck it just inside the left field foul pole, and it's 6-1. to one. Number 7 for Alec Thomas. He has tripled and homer tonight. Ryan has flied to left and bounced back to the pitcher tonight. Oh. This ball hammered, and Matt gets a run back. Seventh of the year for Ryan McMahon, make it six to two. First time he has left the cutter up. And Ryan gets his first homer in his last 33 at bats. David Homer in his last time up, 10th this year. And one deep out to left center field. That ball is carrying. David Peralta just missed another one. It's high off the wall. Walker will score. Peralta's at second base. The ball rolls away, and David gets third. Boy, that ball carried to the deepest part of left center field. It's 7-2 to two Diamondbacks. The infield now has to play in for the Rockies. What choice do they have? There's a swing and a base hit in the right field. Peralta will score. Varsho with an RBI is 33rd of the season, and it's a six-run lead for the Diamondbacks, 8-2 to two in the top of the eighth. Charlie needs a birthday hit. He is Charlie drives it to deep right on his birthday. The wall, Varsho watches it go. Charlie Blackman hit his first major league home run on his birthday. Now, with more than 200 in his long career, he adds another one. Rojas at third with one out. Rockies will bring their infield in, trying to cut off run number nine here. Infield in the 1 0 inside, and it gets all the way to the backstop. Caroms off of the brick and ricochets halfway up the first baseline and Rojas could have cartwheeled home from third. Two outs with Rogers still at first. Rockies are down 9-3 here in the ninth. One more time, you are right. He didn't want to test Rojas and Josh has been outstanding there all night long. 9-3 the final Diamondbacks offense came alive tonight. A whole lot of extra base hits including three home runs. Good start to the series, good start.